Hi oh, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I mean over the top beautiful. I think it is a 66 degree day here in paradise in Grass Valley, California. And take a wild day what day it is. It is Christmas. It is Sunday, Christmas Sunday, December 25th, 2022. And I am uh, dreading my return to the Arctic wasteland of upstate New York, baby. Tomorrow morning, but I am going to enjoy my last day of sunshine and glorious weather. Get out there and enjoy it while I still can. But before I do that, just have a short, sweet uh, Christmas message today, and I wasn't probably wasn't going to do a rant. I looked all over the Doomosphere for an anti-Christmas rant, for a bah humbug rant. Couldn't find one, but uh, we are going to. I went. Oh yes, I went to welcome our new. 1,568 subscribers to Collapse Chronicles. Welcome aboard. Uh, hope you get something out of this. So, since we don't have a full-fledged rant, we're going to hear from my fellow that I think we heard from last about six months ago. This is Real Eyes, Real Eyes, Real Lies who is actually a good buddy of mine, and actually my roommate at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I don't guess he minds me saying that. Uh, real, realize, realize, realize is the fellow who has built my tiny houses that I hope you can come visit next summer. But anyway, that really has nothing to do with anything. So uh, this is uh, Rob's came in yesterday, so this is his Christmas Eve message from Bugs in a Jar Farm in upstate New York. <clears throat> it is an absolutely frigid, freezing fucking day in the end times in Wilseyville, New York. 20 to 30 below wind chill temps. The snowplow took out the mailbox which was a rough temporary fix in the same snowy, windy, below freezing, icy mess. So I guess I no longer have a, I no longer have a mailbox at Bugs in a Jar Farm has been taken out by the, by the snowplow. I don't get any mail anyway. Okay, but more to the point, now that he's caught me up on what to expect when I get home, take it away and tell us about the human condition. <clears throat> the human condition has always been exactly the same. Civilizations rise by conquest. They steal as much real estate as possible through mass murder. They go through an exploitation phase. They exploit everything and everybody to exhaustion, their local environment first and foremost, and then they enter the collapse phase. They become parasites and consume their own societies from within until they finally collapse. Our civilization, meaning the global industrial civilization, I think is the civilization he's referring to here, our civilization is merely the pinnacle of this cycle. The scale is unprecedented. We are literally parasites to the entire web of life. The destroyers of every ecosystem on Earth and have pushed the planet's large systems out of balance, ensuring from every possible angle a dystopian future that will result in most everything either barely surviving or going extinct. Anything larger than a mouse is probably in 
big trouble. <laughs> we only needed to mature past greed, ego, and violence to break this cycle, but instead we reward and worship those characteristics. I suspect that this exact scenario has played out millions and millions of times throughout the universe. Inevitably, intelligence is a lethal mutation when it is not paired with wisdom. Real wisdom does not exist, and our technology is just another false god in a long list, but most certainly the worst one of all. If you climb the tree of knowledge without maturity and wisdom, you are going to fall off and break your neck. Find yourself staring up at the inevitable mushroom clouds. <laughs> and uh, Rob gets nine thumbs up. We're going to give uh, realize, realize, realize. We're going to make that ten thumbs up. Okay, ten thumbs up for my, uh, for my buddy who's also taking care of Sancho Panza. Uh, you, you know, you 1,568 folks are not aware of the other character. I'm only half of the team here. Uh, you will be meeting Sancho Panza in a couple of days, and uh, your whole uh, uh, your whole world will be uh, your your worldview will be stretched when uh, Sancho Panza re-enters uh, the fray here. So my response to uh, my housemate. Sounds like the collapse of our mailbox is certainly a signpost in the downfall. Assuming I can dig my truck out of the snow with a dustpan on Monday morning, I will be returning to the Arctic wasteland sometime Monday, meaning tomorrow. So anyway, we have a probably one of our new 1,568 subs calling himself or herself Silver. Silver has this to say, a, a little more upbeat Christmas. So this is Silver's Christmas Eve retort to realize, 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 realize. Take it away, Silver. You are, creating, you are creating your reality. Get center. One, the earth is a live entity. I would think that should be a living entity. Anyway, the earth is a live entity. What you are feeling is out of balance. Get grounded by walking in natural places. Fill up on natural energy by appreciating all the trees, plants and animals, and insects. Once your energy is lifted, use that energy to think thoughts in harmony, one with all. Let your emotions bubble over with joy, joyfulness. Begin to vibrate with the knowledge that people like you are waking up. Never give your energy to be thinking negative. Be blissfully blessed. Obviously, anybody who knows uh, my buddy Rob uh, <laughs> knows that he, that he is not going to let that comment uh, stand there. So this is uh, Rob's uh, Merry Christmas message to Bliss Nannies, such as Silver. Silver, I just listed our human history in the context of human civilization and the cycle of every civilization to ever exist has gone through. 
it is the reality, not my reality. But I have been hearing that a lot lately, and, and I don't think Rob will mind me. Uh, come, that, that was a, a, uh, a little inside joke to, uh, to me. Rob and I, we don't always have the same reality on little de nuanced details about things, but I assure you uh, that he and I are in 100% lockstep agreement uh, on what is going on on this planet. We are completely in 100% uh, on what is the reality. He and I might have a little bit of, you know, you get down here in the Doomosphere, if you're new to this, uh, as I was telling Mark in that interview, you get 30 Doomers in, in a room and you ask them, what is your definition of being a Doomer? You're going to get 31 different answers. But the important thing is I think, generally speaking, that most doomers would agree with Rob and I what you know what the big picture is and all that's left is uh, is not the if it's the when and how it's uh, you know the details are going to play out of, of this latest collapse that we're uh, in the middle of anyway where was I okay it is the reality, not my reality. I don't need any help with positive energy, and I suck in nature like a sponge. I am just mature and tough enough to face the cold, hard truth, and I am no fool. I don't believe in that positive energy crap. It is for cowards and part of the indoctrination process. It's a manufactured attitude to keep people apathetic and easily controlled. When people don't face up to the negative issues, they, they um, meaning the negative issues, I think it's what the they means in this sentence. They snowball out of control. There is a reason that the planet is littered with the ruins of civilizations and empires that all the positive thinkers thought would go on forever. And those civilizations had people with real life skills. That's not the case with our civilization. What is coming is the most horrific collapse possible, suffering on an unimaginable scale, the reality that nightmares are made of. Most people do not, cannot face the truth about anything. Sorry, I don't suffer from that affliction. And I am well aware what a miracle it is to be alive. That, too, is a major part of understanding reality. So that is his, and his, uh, his uh, Christmas message to me is, uh, oops, where is my uh, housemate's? Uh, message to me. Uh, oh no. Why did it. Did, did the computer eat it? Huh. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Collapse Chronicles. You might, you know, talking about the dustpan that I bought at Home Depot to dig my truck out of the snow and ice. Collapse Chronicles. You might want to up your game on your choice of implements of destruction in battle. The Tacoma and a little dog awaits. Yes, it does. My gas-sucking truck and my little dog. I will be so glad to uh, see my little dog. And uh, Rob and Donna, I really, really appreciate you uh, taking care of the little dog. 
and all you new folks will uh, have a treat here in a, co <laughs> in a couple of days as you meet the little Doomer dog himself. But first, uh, I got to get back into that gas-sucking airplane tonight and fly back into the Arctic blast. If the Syracuse, if the Newark, New Jersey and Syracuse airports are open tomorrow morning and I uh, probably no uh, chronicle of the collapse tomorrow, but I will catch up with you guys on Tuesday. Get out there and have a merry little Christmas while you still can. Bye guys.